This is IBM Museum. So what happens just right after I finish the one video installing the hardware of this iDisplay device that software didn't want to run on video for me the first time. So I went through and did my outro eventually after um, not being able to, uh, even after the reinstallation, being able to get it to run. And um, now that the system has restarted, it appears that it is operating for me. And of course, we went through um, and I showed, you know, going on to the, um, the page for support and going through what this device did in that earlier video. Let's take a look at the software, see if we can get that to, um, to function for us correctly now. And um, we can find out what exactly it does. And this is the i1 profiler. And let's actually go through and um, click on that title bar at the top. Um, and it's got different things there, display profiling, projector profiling, uh, and printer profiling, I wouldn't really, um, I didn't hear of that. Um, that wasn't documented in the in any of the stuff that's included with this about the printer profiling. I did go on the page and it was interesting. They've got a bunch of products. Um, I was really surprised for just going through and measuring those light levels, uh, even looking at Something they were talking about density displays. There's there's just a whole another world there. I, I I'm not really aware of these devices, what they do, um, other than the light level sensors. This does have a basic and advanced mode. Um and even for that display stuff and I may get into the checking display. I wanted to go through and just do the, um, even do the um, ambient light levels, I thought would be a real good test. I don't want to necessarily get into the display, but it does have that. I, I've got my projector close at hand. I mean, I can do that sometime, maybe on video. Now the printer aspect, I'm wondering if they, um, you know, because a printer is, I mean, they, they call the hardware printer the uh, print, what, print device, or, I mean, for all intents and purposes, the print spooler and everything else, that's all done on the, on the computer. Um, you can even have more than one of these devices uh, connected, I guess. They're talking about um, where they've got the little drop down for the default display device. Um, there they've got, they talked about doing the registration and the um, even have an upgrade license. I may have to fill that out at a later point, um, I think, before I do the upgrade. Okay, and you have to do as a code. Just interesting looking through some of these pages. I don't know if these items are showing what's Checked, and I don't know if some of these what they represent of things that they unlock, maybe. Um, I don't know what those icons are representative of. Um, application info and go through. We've got 1.1.1. 1. 1. Let's check for updated startup that's checked. Update occurred, so that may not be a um, 
supported product anymore. They don't have the files for something else to even. Um, they've got. Um, oh, and this goes through and sets up your media player, which I haven't done yet. I guess I can probably select all those. And then it has the information for the I. One profiler allows you to save and apply configurations, measurements, and preferred settings. The building blocks of a profile creation workflow. Okay. So this, I guess I can watch at some point too, or people can watch to. Uh, Let's take a look at I1 Profiler's power. To, to see what this is exactly. Starting with the home page. If you click on the arrow next to application information, you can see your current okay. version. You can also check for a software update. And we did that. You receive a notification when a new version is available. <laughs> Under licensing is a list of features licensed in your okay. software. Each feature will have a green check for licensed or a red question mark for unlicensed. User mode offers two types of profile creation workflows, basic and advanced. Basic mode provides- And so he did kind of a reverse order of what I'm- first. What I did when I got to the screen. Click the printer profiling button. On the left side of this window is where additional help will be provided. As you move your cursor over- Oh, a test chart. Information about the item will show up here. At the bottom of this window is a workflow diagram with all the steps required to make a printer profile. As you finish each step, click on the next button or click the next step in the workflow. The workflow will advance and the indicators will move to the next item. If you wish to return to the beginning of the process, just click the home button. The display profiling process works the same way. To learn more about how to profile your display and printer, Watch the display profiling and basic printer profiling training sections here under training videos. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the advanced user mode to access customizable workflows and advanced features. Select the advanced radio button. Listed here in the workflow selector window are several default workflows. They include more advanced features that are available in basic mode. To see what Okay, that's about a third of the way through. Uh, that little video, and I'll have to go through. Um, and uh, just to watch those and I'll, I'll have to check to see if the, how how good the audio is for that. They're talking about uh, printing a, a test sheet, which would be real nice for my color printer that I have here. And it reproduces uh, colors very accurately um, for being even a toner module. Uh, toner base, not necessarily inkjet or anything like that. Uh, just is a lot better format for one of the nice things I have. And so it should do a test page very well. Um, I don't know. He, he's talking about others, other videos. Um, and I don't know if I even have I'll have to see how I'll do the printer if I go through and and print any of that. Let's look at and it's even got these um and so this is a lot of the l c d printers and things like that I've you know, for the IPS, I don't know if that's a little bit newer on the, on the scene um, than, um, but I really like the IPS. Displays um, for the, even for the, the light levels and things like that. There's your measurement.
Now I'll have to find out how maybe how to operate this device. Um, even running the, the I'll have to probably watch the, the videos for the software. See, they've got these question marks. Okay, so I could go through and I could test the display. I wonder what they did with the ambient light levels, and they've gone to the point where the um, um, and they may go through and have you move around to particular sections on the screen. Yes, I could go through and. Show the. They may have you go and move the device to to particular sections on the screen, for that. And uh, for the for the testing, so. Yeah, this will be. Kind of interesting to check out. I did just want to do a follow up video for. For all that, though, for me getting the device, uh, for getting it working, workflow, switch to save workflows. Yeah, it sure just doesn't have the. Sure doesn't have the um, ambient light levels that I was kind of thinking of before, but I'll go through and I'll check out these. Um, these videos a little bit more and that'll give me a little bit uh, more of an idea of how these things run. Now I did go through and I. Um, and certainly I can I can try it again. And um, let's just leave that uh, minimized. I did try this uh, Pantone Color Manager, and it just brings up a. Um, it brings up this this blank, black window before, and it didn't act like the the program had stopped working or anything like that. But it just is an hourglass. Anywhere within the window, I let it run and it just, it doesn't seem like that wants to do anything. So I have to check on, on that. And so I was even having to um, stop this through the task manager. Um, it's running. It doesn't tell it's, doesn't say anything about, um, or it's not responding or anything like that. So I don't know. And then the the what I had over the uh, the top of that window for the task manager selection, um, that went through and um, it preserved that image. So I don't know <laughs> what exactly that uh, that does. But but in any regard, um, just another one of those devices. Um, just those odd things that switch to save workflows. They're organized here in folders based on the type that I guess, um, switch to has its uses, and I'll go through and find out if, um, even without that ambient light level that I was really going to they thought would be useful for me, um, I'll see what I can use, I can get out of the device. So if you enjoy this content, click on that like button, please. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Recommend it to your friends if we all need more subscribers. But that's all I have for now. This is IBM Museum. Thank you.